Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be running through the Orbit Beehive watering system. It's a, a Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth enabled um, faucet control with a, a Bluetooth Wi-Fi gateway system. Uh, the beauty of it is though, is the fact that it does have an integration through into Home Assistant as well as using the internal functionality of uh, the application itself. So we'll run through a basic setup um, of the actual device itself, run through the setup in the actual app to make sure that you understand and how to set it up successfully and leverage off all those experts that are soil experts. And then we'll run through the Home Assistant um, integration that we can set up and then I'll have a, very, a sum up at the end uh, to tell you my thoughts on the device and whether it's a must have or whether it's a possible have and whether it gets um, partner approval to be able to go out and purchase. So first off, we need to download the application from the App Store. Uh, it's called Beehive. If you click on the download button and then open the application up, you'll need to create an account. I've already created one here and I've allowed for notifications because it will send you through information. We search for the device. So it's a new device. We're going for the faucet hose and gateway combination and we'll turn the make sure Bluetooth turned on. Then we go and to the device, turn it on wait for the solid green light, which means it's in pairing mode. Then you need to say, this is my device, and it will search from based on the MAC address. If I'm going to do one, then you should only get one MAC address. Next, we need to set up the Wi-Fi, which will be SSID and password for your uh, Wi-Fi on 2G only. Call the gateway a name, checks for firmware updates, device update. Suggest you use the current location, now power on the, uh, the actual faucet itself. It will search for that, bat match it off against its MAC address and you're done. Now we come to the fun part, uh, integrating what we've done inside of Orbit Beehive application and inserting that into Home Assistant. So as you can see, I'm running on Home Assistant 2023.7.1, which is the latest version as of the uh, making of this video. Um, it might vary for you, but um, it should still be compatible moving forward as long as you keep updating your uh, repositories. We're going to move across into hacks and we're going to add in the um, repository for it. So moving, if you haven't got hacks, then I'll put a link in the description of how you can install hacks. Down in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to explore and download repositories and we're going to search for Beehive. Second one down in this case. Um, you can read through the um, uh, sensors, installation, etc. on this one, but I'll just run through the basics for you. So press the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, pressing the download button. This can take a few seconds to run through while it downloads the application and installs this into the hacks. Now there is a restart that's going to be required at this point. So we now have it installed. If we go back into hacks, we'll see the pending restart. Navigate across, always check our configuration to make sure that it works properly. Uh, configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from starting. And now we're going to move into the restart and we're going to press the restart uh, Home Assistant. Uh, confirm the restart and we will now get a disconnected uh, connection lost. Okay, so now we can see in the bottom right left hand corner, Home Assistant has started successfully. We now move across into hacks and into integrations. We'll see now that we have the orbit um, as it appeared as an integration. We now need to add that in as an integration into Home Assistant. So moving through into settings, integration. Um, these are my integrations. If you press the button, button in the bottom right hand corner saying add integration and then search for Beehive. Now we need to add in our user ID and which is our email and our password that uh, we used from before. Press submit. And now it says uh, a device has been found called the Smart Hose Tap Timer. And we'll press submit and it asks us where we want to put it. So we're going to put this into the 
uh, outside. And now we should be able to see that there is a single device that has been uh, registered. Now I can add these directly or use any of these sensors now directly into my dashboard. So I've got a dashboard ready called garden. So I'll to my garden, add to the dashboard, successfully added. I'll just add as a, as a demonstration, adding these ones to the dashboard as well, adding them to the garden, say add, move down, add it out. So moving across to the garden, you can now see that these have been added. Um, toggle switches entities are available now to uh, control our garden. Um, activating the front garden zone here will actually turn on the sprinkler. So that's about it. This is the Orbit Beehive smart watering system uh, consisting of a gateway and a faucet uh, solenoid controller uh, that can be integrated through into home assistant. Uh, my thoughts on this, um, I've been using it now for probably around about two years and um, never had a problem with it. Uh, the batteries wear down probably uh, on an annual basis, um, but it gives you warnings on the application to find out if the what the battery health is and when they should be actually replaced. Uh, would I recommend it? Absolutely. It's a great addition to your smart home. It's reliable. It is a plug and play. And once it's been set up, you do not have to look after it. Things to consider on this is that it does have a hammer on the a water hammer on the actual tap and force it itself, which means that when it does stop, it stops quite abruptly. It does not have a, a, a soft close on the actual force it itself. Um, is that a problem? Not particularly, no. You, you hear it if it's within a reasonable amount of distance from you and it just makes a thud sound, which is actually quite a decent thing because you can actually notice when it's actually cut off or not. Um, um, if you are one of these people that waters at two o'clock in the morning, um, I don't think it's going to wake you up, put it that way. It's quite quiet. And that's about wraps it up. Um, there are links to the Beehive in the uh, comments below. Um, so you can actually go off and buy that from Amazon if you require. Um, they are affiliate links and I do make a small commission on those ones. Um, but by all means, please use the links because it does help support the channel. And also there's some extra documentation below about configuration and a, a details about how it links into Smart Home. So thanks guys, have a fantastic day and more videos to come shortly and hopefully we'll get some more products in that we can run through to be able to configure them into our smart homes.